Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of Forbidden Deductions. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Shooting star. Home! Why haven't you gotten any sleep? Huh? Right? What the This is just giving Ripley's Believe It or Not type feels. So it makes you wonder, out of these two who are being introduced, who's dying today? Okay, Eddie Hondo, because that sounds like her. They're about to kill her off in this episode. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor baby. Right? I mean, it seems a little fake. I mean, yeah, there's kind of a little... Like, some psychics are really real, but... This screams fake. Uh oh. No, this feels very set up and sketchy.
I don't believe it. Something about it seems very fishy. Well, duh, it was obvious with the cracked phone skin. <laughs> you really want to kill him? Um, oh, so yeah, stop the broadcast, call an ambulance, let's get out of here. Remember, that shit is live, too. It's time to go. <laughs> you know how when it's like, oh, they let anybody in? Boom. <laughs> You say that, but I feel like you just, like, excuse me. You know how, like, there's some things that you can put that make them, when you dip something in something that's poisonous, like, let's say a needle or whatever, pricked him, got close to him, and then boom, dead. Right? Baby.
Could be. No. Yeah. He walked over, grabbed his hand, you know, specifically for his wrist to tech for, you know, beats and stuff. Or at least the poles. And of course, didn't feel anything. What if in that moment when he walked up to him to check his poles, that's when? But no, that would be too obvious. His bloodshot eyes. <laughs> Please. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. As well. Right, and it could have been your fault. <gasps> mm -hmm. She more clumsy than freaking what's her face from talking to Robot too. I mean, but he is a plant, though. She's fine. Sleep.
Which means he came over, nicked his ass, pricked him. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. As my just lie for a moment. Mm. Well, that was easy. Run, wait. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. It's just a, it's a Sharpie. <laughs> I killed your boyfriend. You are right, yes. Each key would have been dead, but oh, we thank God he's not. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But, okay, yes, but he's still here. Oh, come on. Mm hmm. He'll always be able there to stop you. Let's go together. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing we're getting another two-parter. Yeah, besides, we need another vacation. Oh my god. <laughs> and until someone dies. Until somebody dies. That's like just the big thing. Now, she's interesting. It's funny that she's the one that we get to see in the op I mean the ending. But we've seen her in the ending for the last couple of weeks right now. So, at least we get to see her officially in the episode, which was nice. But it does tell me that we are possibly going to see more of her in the next up and coming weeks. But yeah, something kind of tells me we're going to be getting another two-parter. I mean, I'm not mad if we get another two-parter. It just depends on, you know, how the episode ends. Do not cliffhanger me. I, I like cliffhangers, but not all the time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sometimes. Not all the time. No. But seriously, this was sweet. I mean, like, both me and Ishiki could very much obviously see, like, oh, yeah, this is such a facade. This is so fake and such. And, and I get it. Ron is like, oh, my God, like, this looks so real and stuff. I've met people who are, who are, like, insanely like Ron and being like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. And I'm like, bruh, that looks so fake. That's why I like now I cannot watch certain things now knowing that like almost everything truly is fake and such. But um, I remember as a kid, I was watching always like a lot of I still kind of do now. I will you know how when the any of the Amer like haunting type series and such come out through the years like an American haunting, a haunting, paranormal, whatever. Like those those I will 100% legit always swear that those are the real things um even when we're getting a reenactment of the whole thing and you know that the things that those people um truly experience is the real deal and it possibly you know for television they can't really show you every little thing that's the same thing like with certain movies for horror series and stuff the conjuring series in a nutshell um Maybe like the strangers here and there and some other horror movies that I really cannot think about as of right now that are always like the based on a true story scenario. And then when you're sitting in there watching it, you're you're not only like you're like anytime when I watch movies that are based off of true events or scenarios or whatever, I am two people. I am the fangirl who is like, oh, my God, like, yes, horror, gore, whatever. And then I'm also the person who like I'm thinking, OK, did this happen? Did that happen and such? Because when you are done watching, like I remember the first time when I watched the very first Conjuring movie with my mom, um, we were up until like the wee hours of the morning looking ish up and then we still kind of do that the worst thing is that we now kind of do is when a new conjuring movie comes out we end up like or conjuring movie in the the any movie in the conjuring universe um comes out we end up re-watching the whole freaking series so like you know the recent nun 2 that came out like what two three months ago um <laughs> that thank god i was off 
for the whole weekend, the whole weekend, we did nothing but sat and rewatched every single freaking movie to the point that it was nuts. But you get to learn different things. You get to see how, like, each and every single movie is now connected with another one because, you know, some of them are, you know, just ideas and other the others are just based off of a true story and such but yeah like it def definitely gave me ripley believe it or not feels especially or like anything where it has you don't know if it's real or fake <sighs> excuse me um but yeah didn't think that you know he was being threatened uh, you know for some money and you know homeboy was like yeah he gotta go i mean you know hey he was trying to save his butt and i get that yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 6 of Forbidden Deductions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.